Deep breath in. Put your knees together for me. Put your knees together. Exhale for me. Yeah, this just totally froze in there, brother. It's Atlas is glued to his occiput right here. I'm trying to free up the atlanto occipital joint here. There we go. Come on. No more of this. Mm. Just don't need to do it. It costs too much. Okay. Rest of your life, if you can, unless there's a fire, you roll to your side. And get up. Side push up. up. Does it go, is there anything going down farther down the leg or is the piriformis the it, lowest? It depends. Sometimes it, it's just here, like I can feel it right here a little bit right now. Okay. Other times it'll, depending on how I'm laying or something, yeah. it may radiate down the side, down my thigh and my to the knee. All the way down to the foot? Sometimes into my calf. Not all the way down on my foot, but sometimes I'll feel it like in this front calf muscle here. And then on the, on the side in the IT band a little bit. How would you describe that? Achy. Like a toothache. Achy, burning, like annoying, like if I could just stretch enough, yeah, it would go away kind of feeling. That's pressure on this nerve. That there, there, You have pressure on the nerve, and you can see it right here on this picture here. You know, the, the wires that leave the lower back, if you continued this, mm -hmm. you know, they go right down to the calf. And let me add something into that, which could be affecting this. Uh, last Christmas, right before Christmas, I was training and I had a new guy with me and we were doing turn back kicks yes full power yeah and I threw mine and he got scared and backed up and I felt my whole leg hyperextend and actually felt my hip pull out the socket and come back in like okay so I may have torn labrum okay I, I, okay but I never managed, never got around to actually going to the doctor or getting an MRI do you have any local pain around that acetabulum right now or just uh, I have some so in, in here a little bit in the uh, psoas, is that psoas muscle? Could be a little bit inguinal, yeah, inguinal psoas. psoas. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But it's kind of, it, it comes and goes. It's not hurting enough. Like I feel a little throb, but it's not hurting enough to be a bothersome pain. Okay. But I mean, which I know is still not good. I I'm just going to look at your rest of your posture. You keep looking straight forward for me. I'm going to look at you. So we're dealing with about two inches head forward, two and a half inches head forward. The ear hole should be over the center of your shoulder. Head weighs about 10 pounds. Every inch the head goes forward, the muscles have to double their workload. So 10, 20, 40. That's probably my job. I'm sitting in front of a computer monitor all day long. So the, what I'm saying is the muscular stress in your shoulders and neck will be continual until this lines up. Right. It, it gets silly. If you just try to acupuncture or rub, it can give some temporary relief, but the ultimate goal to me is yeah, and I have a pinch nerve somewhere up in here that's been like almost two years. It just won't, no one can get it. To well, that's your lower neck. Away. That's all. <laughs> in here is your lower neck. Okay. So the, the, the lower neck joints refer pain to the border of the scapula. How we fix that, just we work on the upper neck, loosen the upper neck up, take the stress off the lower neck, and also loosen your upper back. The upper back to being tight is a accomplice. <laughs> And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a lot yeah. of like, stress is related to this, too. The whole stress of, yeah. of trying to move down here, sure. selling a house, and sure. trying to find a house here, selling a house in Tennessee, and moving and all that, all that stuff. So that's been... Uh. Take one deep breath in, and then exhale for me. Let all the air out. Let it all go. I got you, brother. Here we go. Exhale. Oh. Deep breath in, yeah. Exhale. Let it all go. Oh. Deep breath in. Put your knees together for me. Put your knees together. Exhale for me. Yeah, it's just totally frozen in there, brother. <laughs> I got maybe one bone to move. Um, let's go. on top of your body. <laughs> Within 10 days of a joint not moving, it starts to freeze up. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't take long to, it's almost like plaque or sandpaper. Imagine a joint is two surfaces gliding over each other. They're supposed to be silky and no effort. To, to slide them over each other. Mm -hmm. What happens is if the joint doesn't move, it quickly forms a crystal or a plaque, like on our teeth, mm -hmm. on that surface of the joint, which restricts the mobility. Like so calcium buildup. You got it. Yep. Deep breath in. Exhale. I was having breathe in deep. Exhale. Oh, face up for me. Wow, powerful. Uh, your your build is tighter than it looks kind of idea um, okay. it it's deceiving a little bit you have everything in very high level of fortification in there 
if your middle back doesn't move properly, that must mean your lower back's overworking. Does that make sense? Yeah. Somebody's got to bend. Either that or you can't get it out of your car. A part of your, ver part of your spine has to be mechanically drawn from. Mm -hmm. And so I ask the inverted question. I don't ask why people are hurting their lower back or have SI joint pain. I ask them why are they not hurting their middle back, <laughs> right? Or their, you know, the areas yeah. that are frozen. I got your head. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Real easy. It's okay. Here we go. Let it go. There we go. Yeah. It's okay. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Chin up. Yeah, we got work to do. It's okay. It's just glue up here. <laughs> it's just, it's okay. I'm, people on YouTube are going to go, he's beating that poor guy up. <laughs> Well, when I was training regularly, I didn't have all this. And, you know, and my, my fiance always says, she's like, you've got to get back to training again because you were keeping everything loose and stretched out and all, right. and you weren't getting stove up like that. Well, I mean, it's, it's a good thing. It's a little bit cautionary also because right now, if you stretch, my main worry is that you're only going to bend where you're loose, and you can end up spraining those areas. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. if you tilt your head to the side or tilt your head back or forth, I'd almost advocate for very little stretching until we unlock your spine and then once we unlock it the stretching becomes your way of keeping it moving properly and keeping it lined up properly but you know this is a really frozen upper neck here um probably gonna go to knuckles here in a second i got strong thumbs but it feels like mm -hmm. i'm out there in the parking lot you know pushing on concrete it's just there we go there we go i got you brother very tender and I'm gonna give you a thumbs up <laughs> because that's what you're paying me for somebody's got to break down the walls that you got formed in your middle back gotcha. and your upper back and as long as everybody's appalled as I am we're good <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-four vertebrae. We gave names to two of them. <laughs> Atlas and Axis. The top two vertebrae at the top. We gave them names because they're super important. <laughs> and they're way more valuable than any other vertebrae. Atlas, Axis. These top two vertebrae up here. Why are you spending so much time up there, Ed? I told you it's my pain's down there, my shoulder blades, and my pain's down here, my glute. Why are you spending time up here at the top? Because if this doesn't function, the whole rest of the channel Right. chain doesn't work properly this is a I don't know 50% of the value of your spine is just up here um, the lack of functionality in your upper neck makes your lower neck be overstressed the lower neck being overstressed causes your head to go two and a half inches forward your head going two and a half inches forward makes your middle back stiff your middle back being stiff causes you to overwork your lower back which causes your hips to become uneven right. which makes you pull the muscles in your groin and irritate your labrum. Does that make sense? All of that oh, yeah. is, those are dominoes. Those are all effects from the cause. The disc has no feeling on the front and it feels better to put weight on non-sensitive structures. Wow. Yeah, when I put it flat down, it feels like something's tension in the back. Correct. And that's why your head went forward. And here's the way how I'm going to get your head back. I can't bring your head back by making your lower neck do it. Your upper neck needs to do it. Thing is, right now, your upper neck's doing squat right now. <laughs> your upper neck's not doing anything. So I can't, you shouldn't be bringing your head back. Does that make sense? You shouldn't, be, you shouldn't be trying to lay your head back because you're going to pinch your lower neck and you're going to cause more pain down your arm or into your shoulder blade. I need this area. I mean, that's just frozen. Yeah, sometimes when this starts to bother me, if I feel like I'm getting a pinch in here, yes, sir. it'll burn into my shoulder here, and then I've, I'll get like some numbness down in my hand, but then it'll go away. Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you, that's why your head's forward. But as I bring your head back, in order to put you in a position that will last till 100, mm -hmm. we run into the monsters that you've been running away from. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so you can't just quickly move teeth kind of idea. We have to prep it before we yeah. start moving the furniture. And so this is why I said earlier, I don't want you doing any stretching okay. because we're going to run into, Ed, I, you brought my head back. This feels better, but now my arm's killing me. Does that make sense? <laughs> you understand? Yeah. We're going to, 
There are reasons, purposeful and intelligent reasons for why your posture's changed, but because your posture's changed, now certain areas are being overstressed. And so we got four or five dominoes to get back to the source. And it begins with this. I got no mobility on his left atlas. His atlas is glued to his occiput right here. I'm trying to free up the atlanto occipital joint here. There we go. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we got work to do. <laughs> it's just frozen. Probably take me a couple visits to break that wall down. the right side to get any looser before I break loose the left. My worry is that with this upper neck so frozen, what ends up happening is if I go any harder on my adjustment, your lower neck's just going to get pissed off. <laughs> Does that make sense? And that's a, that's a thing, right? Yeah. Well, Ed, I think if you cranked it harder, you might be able to get it to move. I don't think that's good for your lower neck. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to go any more forceful than that because what happens is the mechanical force is absorbed in the loosest area. Even though I'm trying to, let me say I'm contacting up here, right. not, nobody should ever push into your lower neck. I'm way up here off the occiput and some remnant of force is going to go into your lower neck inevitably. I just don't, I have no interest in making your lower neck more mad. Already upset. We have to divert pressure. Wow, this one's pretty obvious. See if Carl, you can see that. Can you see that? What do you, what do you, what do you see there, Carl? I see his uh, left. Yes. Higher. Yes. Good. I'm not. <laughs> it's about a half inch higher on his left side. The lack of functionality in your middle back is why I'm here today. <laughs> this, and and I'm I'm glad that you've had other chiropractors take note of this and. People have been trying to work on this, and the stretching. The the remember that alignment I showed you on that blueprint. Oh. If we if we move you towards there, it won't lock down very quickly. The only reason it's locking down, and I get it, stress and traveling and all that, but the alignment's not correct. And unless we're doing spinal molding, uh -huh. adjustments, massage, acupuncture, it's not enough to change your posture, and it gets depressing because it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's very temporary. Um, so the first phase of care in here is what I call the prep phase or the demolition phase to unlock the spine so we can get to the molding phase, which is going to give you a lot more permanency. Okay. Yeah, this feels really good when you help us going through right there. Yeah, it's just, I'm going to get a little more quiet here because I'm going to be working because this is... If you have any questions, go ahead, but I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep working on here. Some of this is postural. I would say most of this is guarding. This is why massage being upright is silly because if you massage somebody upright, sometimes the muscles are tight because of bad posture. Mm -hmm. Right now, because you're laying down, I've taken gravity out of the equation. You still have an immense amount of tightness in here. That tightness is guarding, injury. Your body's believing that another whiplash or another fall is gonna happen. Does that make sense? And so at any moment, you're ready for a collision. This is all walled up and fortified Okay, all right. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, right there is bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mentally, my goal is to go right to the edge and then back off a, mi- a little bit and see if we can hold there. probably really immediately can feel the difference. This side's much closer oh, yeah. to where it's supposed to be. The left is pretty massively misaligned. It's a yeah. You're handling you're handling full throttle way more on this side. <laughs> the left side I could make you twitch a little bit, but this, yeah, this, <laughs> this side, side uh, you're able to handle it feels just like a deep tissue. I'm going so, just as hard. Yeah. I'm going just as hard as the left, but the le- yeah. left you were Almost tell me to back off. You know, just yeah, it was super tender on some stuff. <sighs> it's just more frozen. The more tight an area is, the less compliant it is, and the more difficult. And so this is how we progress through our my office. Eventually, everything's just moving, and then you're just telling me about your day in here while I'm working my butt off. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there shouldn't be any difficulty anywhere. the The standard is, Ed, I feel pressure from your elbow. There is no pain anywhere. It's going to be, Ed, you spent a lot of time on my left side and you didn't rub the right side as long and the answer is correct. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you don't, you're not going to need as much time over here. Right. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to loosen the right because the right will actually loosen way faster because it's already somewhat loose. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if I loosen the right a lot and I loosen the left a lot, I haven't balanced anything. Right. right? And that gets scary, right? <laughs> then you, you still leave here with the same level of contrast even though I loosened everything. Like if one was a 1 out of 10 and the other one was a 4 out of 10, then I moved it to 1 to a 4 and then the other to a 7. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I still didn't balance anything. I'd rather keep the, the 4 and bring it to a 5 and then try to bring the 1 to a 5 and then, <laughs> and then we bring them from 5 to 10 together. Yeah. Just takes time. It's like metal. Softening the metal. So we can reshape it. Uh Here we go. Breathe, breathe, let it go, come on. Let this go. It's not your friend in here, we gotta. Water balloon. <laughs> Somebody put a water balloon in here. Right there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Five or six swipes is already purple right here. I mean, the, the, how quickly the mark comes out tells me how much is sort of trapped in the area. And the tighter the area, this should be the more more of the buildup. Lactic acid is like cellular exhaust. It's the yeah. waste product that your muscles produce when they burn energy, ATP. And the whole purpose of breathing oxygen is to bind to it, form carbon dioxide and water.
breaking down these walls. Got some ribbage, some uh, punches on this, <laughs> some some good hits over here. Well, I, I broke a rib on the left side uh -huh. a number of many, many, many years ago. Uh -huh. Probably before I even moved to Tennessee, so uh -huh. well, probably almost 20 years ago. Uh -huh. But then I got kicked in the middle of my back one time, but that's still in the 90s also. Because the facets, the vertebrae, but, uh, the joints between the vertebrae aren't, aren't as dirty. Does that make sense? On, the, on yeah. Right in here. But then right when I come onto the rib headline, I got a lot of, like right here and here, almost two injuries. There's one right here and then there's almost two separate collisions. This was a pretty large collision right here. It's like something, you know, just hits you hard and then the joint said that might happen again so now we're going to spasm everything okay. to guard it. And that's part of the walls and the pillboxes and fortifications that you've built up here that are now causing your lower back to just be yeah. tormented. But we have to process these wounds up here and The inguinal area, well, this area refers pain to that front. When you talk about the groin area, that makes yeah, sense? Yeah, because I can feel it radiating around at the front. Area Correct. Into that. Yes, this it's SI joint dysfunction that causes pain in the inguinal area. Um, when you did that back kick, I suspect you sprained some of this joint and then it bound up and now you got the referral pain to the front, but it's really from right here. This is what radiates pain to the front there. I think Carl wanted me to answer that earlier. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted him to be able to feel it. Ugh. This is the cause, it's here. Yeah, that's it's not, the cause. This is his problem, it's right here. You gotta hold that now. It's all just filled with fluid. Just gonna hold. Tilt your head to the right for me a little bit. I got you. There we go. Good. Huh. There we go. Good. He's like, I'm not Didn't sure. Didn't even know that, that would move. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, there we go. Tilt your head to the left for me a little bit. There we go. Yeah, good. Huh. We soften the clay and then we press it into the mold. And you keep on pressing it into the mold until this becomes easy and we take these books out from behind your head. Okay. And the table work is to make this easier okay. <laughs> and, and approachable. Um, and then once you can do this easily and your head's on the ground, you don't need to be here anymore. Okay. The purpose of the care here is to make, and then you put your arms aside, right, and try to stretch these shoulders. Like I said, two birds, one stone. We're going to be stretching your shoulders back 
at the same time that we're, yep, you got it, yep. This is the lumbar dental roll. They made a piece of foam that's like my thumb, I said, you know, and it goes in here. And the arch in your spine is what's going to spread the work of your back over all the segments. When it goes straight, like a ladder, all the weight ends right in the lower back, which is inflaming that joint, which is causing that SI joint pain, okay. the piriformis tightness. How are you going to fix me? We have to take the stress off the lower back and we have to put it on your middle back. Your middle back is so locked, we have to spend three, four, five minutes just unlocking it. Mm -hmm. And then we should be able to move to stretching. Okay. We can then increase the time between visits and we make it. Okay. To, but to the rest of your life, I'm just saying, see, when I'm laying flat, you see how my, my back wants to be yeah, curved, curved up all, all the around. time? Right. This is, my back doesn't want to be here. Right. <laughs> it wants to be curved and that's why it's easy because my back is curved all the time. My point is, I don't, no more of this. Mm. I just don't need to do it. It costs too much. Okay. Rest of your life, if you can, unless there's a fire, <laughs> you roll to your side, and get up, side push up. up, or come up like that. It just costs so much less. Okay. You don't need to be doing it. Um, Sit-ups, crunches, they just put a lot of stress on the disc. Mm 